Welcome back, Matthew Lightbulb, to another My Hero Academia review. If you're new here to my channel, remember to subscribe to become part of the Lightbulb Army. And let's get right into it with chapter 359 of My Hero Academia. It's so crazy to think. I remember the day I got into the series, there were around like 60, 62 chapters. And I bench read all of it and I, was, I fell in love ever since, even though it was not in my top 10 back then, uh, around those chapters. Because I was like, okay, this needs to prove itself more. Now we're on the eighth year anniversary, which we got a beautiful big big spread uh, of color page we got shigaraki minoria we have minoria actually holding ochako's hand i didn't notice this at first uh so uh, that could be some foreshadowing by horikoshi we have bakugo we have ida grabbing bakugo's leg for whatever reason we have endeavor we have so many different characters hawks all in red like and shigaraki as well like i said toga uh uh Dobby as well. It's so many characters. It's so cool. So eight years of My Hero Academia. It makes me so happy that this series became so popular everywhere. Like like anime is literally worldwide. It's not just the web. It's everywhere. Anime has become so mainstream and stuff. I know like some countries have restrictions and stuff like that, but uh, nevertheless, there's anime fans everywhere. So the main thing I really want to talk about this chapter is the fight between Bakugo and Shigaraki and how I felt so bad about Bak for Bakugo because Bakugo is, I will say, my second favorite character in My Hero Academia. First is Midoriya, then second is Bakugo. Third, I will say, is Tokoyami. And I felt so bad for him because he's like, he's fighting his hardest. He literally does this gigantic explosion. But then we got to remember that this guy... Shigaraki has this hyper regeneration because every end game villain has to have some type of regeneration because they're a perfect specimen, they're the perfect villain. I think that's the I think that's the formula. That's why like remember Cell from Dragon Ball Z, Aizen from Bleach, who, who else that reach there, there's a lot of villains in just manga history that has regenerations that are very tough to beat and shigaraki is one of them now obviously i didn't expect bakugo to beat shigaraki because he's not the main main character but that giant explosion they did literally <laughs> kind of destabilized the uh, fortress they were in it was almost destroying a lot of, it was destroying a lot of stuff destroyed a lot of uh shigaraki's like fingers and stuff like that but bakugo did take some recoil damage in that uh he has some damage in his face his arm actually his right arm got shattered and shigaraki even saw this as a threat and said fantastic that's why this has got to go boom and then just held his his hand his arm like this and, and you see blood everywhere i was like oh my goodness it if shigaraki wanted he could have killed Bakugo right there because he could have spread it all across his body, but that didn't happen. Uh, obviously, because we do not want Bakugo to die. He's like one of the big three of UA, right? Right now, and even through all of that, Shigaraki, did, Shigaraki did take damage. It's just he has regeneration. Any other villain that took a direct hit like that right there will have most likely got defeated or died. And through all of this. I felt so bad about Bakugo because um, later on, he says to Bakugo Shigaraki, he says, your thoughts, feelings, what you strive for? No. Katsuki Bakugo, the only thing about that, about you that catches my interest is how you are closer to Isuku Midoriya than anyone else. That's it. His bond, his relationship to Midoriya, Midoriya how they're rivals, how they're you could say best friends. Bakugo and Midori at this point are best friends. And yeah, have, are, have been best friends for a while, even though Bakugo acts like that way towards Midori and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, that, that that was a hard line that he said, because it's like, like, you're of no interest to me. And this is Shigaraki and all for one, all in one, they're mine all in one. And I definitely do think this is more of all for one speaking and you can see that shigaraki did get heavily damaged because the left side of his face is just shard his eye it, it looks dead like his eye is not there like it it's it he did a lot of damage and i was happy about that horikoshi his art just brings another level to this because 
there's a panel on page what page is this uh 15 where where they're like once he graduates from ua he's aiming to be number one that's what they're talk, uh, talking about bakugo and then we just see ua in shambles and you could see in between ua you could basically say that could be a number one like that little space between the building and then you just see shigaraki in front of ua like in the destruction he's leaving behind him like hey there's not gonna be no number ones i'm gonna destroy everything um i also like the the students from this other class this other, other course that do the documentaries they're like oh we have to record this to show that we're gonna be victorious here and everybody's like, where's Midoriya? He's always screaming, Mandalay, any other day on Midoriya. They're all relying on Midoriya. And it goes to show you that Midoriya is on a level where he's on pro hero level, but he's like the best chance to stop Shigaraki. And not only that, Shigaraki said a great line. He said, of power on par with all might. So Shigaraki right now is on par, has power on par, equal, I'm gonna say it, to prime all might. To prime all might. Because it's not no weak Shigaraki. Oh, man. I think it's prime all might. This is, this is so cool. This is so cool how our boy Shigaraki has become so stronger. In such a short amount of time. The only thing, like I said before, a long time ago was like, I didn't like that. He, all for one's will overtook his, his mind. The quirk overtook his mind. Like, I, I, I didn't like that uh, too much. But hopefully, Midoriya saves Shigaraki. It will in his own mind, mind sphere and stuff like that. And then the talking about the big three, we got Togata, Nejire, and I always forget Sun Eater's name. And Sunny Eater from My Hero. Let me look it up. Sunny Eater, My Hero. I don't know why I always forget his name. Tamaki and Tamaki all together saying, hey, let's fight with our triple threat power. So this is the big three. We're going to see them in action, all fighting together. So this could be really cool. Uh, early in the chapter, somebody was like, hey, Baku, go watch it. You're going to uh, burn Nijiri's beautiful hair and stuff. Uh, so that, that was really funny. And did Nijiri get a haircut? Let me see something real quick. I think she did. I, don't, I know it's not important to the chapter, but I just want to check. I think Nijiri did get a haircut. Nijiri how? Yeah, she did get a haircut because her hair is really short now. I don't think I, I don't think her hair got burned. No, I, I think she got a haircut. And I like how Tamaki's like, I really wanted a proper graduation ceremony because they're they're seniors in high school. Like, they're um they they want this to happen and then once like hey pal once the battle's over let's have principal and Nesu throw one together for us so i guess that's what togata said mirio so one million is this is gonna be good we haven't seen mirio like a hundred percent like fighting somebody since that villain uh overhaul long long time ago i remember when he got his powers back and it was really hype and stuff so yeah overall i'll give this chapter an eight out of ten I like the foreshadowing with, oh, this is going to be our victory. I, I like a lot of stuff here and there.